predestined by God. That was his desire and plan and purpose for all of us. And it says in his word to come to know him. It's his will that none should perish. That is his will. <laughs> choice is ours. Yeah, choice. That's the worst part of being human, am I right? Yeah. Well, it's the worst and the best. Yeah. Because those who do inherit his kingdom are there because they want to be. Mm -hmm. They want to be. They love him and they have made that choice mm -hmm. to live. And so many people well, think, think they're giving up stuff. Oh, I have to give up this and this and this. But there's nothing that God asked of us that wasn't because it's best for us. Well, so like but I Carol's think the difference is like these people, you said, um, oh man, I just lost it. It was in my head and then I lost it. Um, what did you say right before uh, we were talking about they have to give up stuff? Oh. I'm so sorry. About repentance and Right, okay, so you said like uh, you're making the choice to um, like repent and follow Christ and everything, which is very true, but I think when there's signs like this, or just the general like tense feeling between the LGBT community and the church, they feel like we don't want them to make that choice. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so yeah, back to, you know, Jesus said they should know that we are His by how we love, right? Because we have love one for another, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I'll give you an example. So, <laughs> when we're standing out here, I know I don't know if you got to witness some of the love that the other folks that were standing around were showing in their way of loving was very oh, mean and hateful and nasty. Let's put it that way. And oh, all no, we do is say, bad. well, I love you anyway. And other you know, people being mean is never an excuse for us right and we're, it, we're getting back yeah, and we're not good. and we won't and you know you want to hug okay we'll hug we love you we'll tell you we love you it, it's just if you're living a life of, how do you know you need to repent if you don't know well, we're going to have to cross it anyway so yeah. that's kind of part of the message this is not okay this is not yes. yeah. i just think the folks on the wrong set like sure I mean, okay, okay. Happy. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I did not know you're on your private. That's the point. We're not focusing okay, on the heart of the heart. Yes. Yes. And it makes so us look so like sorry, hypocrites when we say, no, oh, this is sin, while we have sin in our hearts. Okay. But we have okay, something good, else, right? Okay. We have acceptance of Jesus. I was not paying. But hopefully, I hopefully we have gotten, oh my, like, <laughs> we've so laid so down all the sin that we have any idea we're doing. So have my, you know, I like the Bible. I've read it a few times. It ain't going to do you no good to read it if you don't obey it. Satan knows the Bible real good. Yeah, he, he knows, knows it better than I do, and I know it pretty good. Hey, what's your name? Ray Nix. Ray Nix. I'm Kobe. Kobe? Yeah. Nice I'm to meet you, Kobe. Huh? I'm Kobe. Olivia. Nice to meet I'm you, Olivia. Olivia. I, uh, you know, man sees the outside and God sees the heart, right? So, yeah, but, you know, here's the thing. Hey, man. I am we just can switched up on you now. See, I used to smoke marijuana and open my Bible up and say, God <laughs> created herbs and spices and we smoke all the pot we want to. Yeah. But guess what? I didn't want to keep reading where it says in there to be sober and look righteous. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know what you're doing right now. Yeah. I'm saying this to you, okay? Okay, because I don't think you are. Well, I am. I feel like you don't know who I am, and I think you're assuming. Well, I, I am assuming, and I'm, I'm assuming right. Because I do have the Holy Spirit that gives me words of knowledge at okay. times. What, what do you assume? I, you're deceiving yourself. You like the Bible, which you said, okay? But yeah. the Bible says without holiness, no man shall see God. There's a lot of people that believe in Jesus, and they, in their heart, they, they, they think they're right in their heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know what the greatest commandment is? To love the Lord thy God. And right after that is love with, your neighbor as yourself. Well, hold on. We, we finish with that one up. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy mind and all thy strength. So most people in America that call themselves Christians, they gave all their mind to God. They'll go to church. They'll get in the car and they got that worldly carnal music going on that promotes I wonder if she would take a picture Like I us. used to do. I don't listen to that, actually. Do you know, do you know me? No, I'm not saying you do. Because, I just said um, most people. Right. If you were listening to what I said. Yeah, yeah. But I, I used to like... be one of those most people. Right. Do you live holy? You know what? I make active efforts. I make... Yeah, it's a yes so, or no question. Do you, uh, here's a, here, here's a okay. better, better question. All have fallen short of the glory of God, sure, yeah, yeah. Have, that's a past tense word. Do you know the Bible says uh, in the book of First John, See, that's, that, a lot of y'all don't know the scriptures that you need to know to change uh, your life. I love 1 John. Don't talk to me about okay. that. Okay, so, okay, so you'll know this is in there. 
It says, in this the children of God are made manifest and the children of the devil. A bunch of children of the devil marched in this parade today, believe it or not. That's a, that's a harsh statement, but according to God, it's true. Amen. Okay? Well, there are a lot of children of the devil, I believe. It is. It is. Unfortunately, but we choose to sin. I mean, it's easy to sin. Yeah, yeah, any person. You got a who, whole like, crowd you know, out here. Now. Oh, honey, you're. Um, huh, what? Anyway, I'm just standing close in this, to you. The children of God are made manifest in the children of devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not a child of God. That's in First John. Another scripture in First John talking about the thing he that is born of God, meaning born again, does not commit sin because he guards himself from the wicked one, and the wicked one touches him not. That's in your Bible. Mm -hmm. okay. So so you looking at a man that I, I have no sin in my life that I know of. I used to willfully sin. I've had sex outside of marriage in the past. I, was, I used to smoke marijuana. I used to look at pornography. I used to smoke cigarettes. I used to drink booze to get high, not because I like the taste of it, okay? I used to do a lot of things willfully sinning. Preacher told me I was saved. I grew up in a Baptist church. So I was technically a hypocrite. But I believe, I figured the preacher must know what he's talking about, right? So he tells me, well, it's easy to go up and pray a prayer, right? And just yeah. now, hey, Jesus is in your heart now. So there's a lot of false preachers in America the Lord's talking about. Okay? When I got into the Bible and I got into the book of John, in the book of John chapter 14 changed my life, man. You know what it says in there? See it. Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments and I'll manifest myself to you. I think the problem is, again, what we were saying that we're not at a good starting point. They think we don't want them to. When you come out with signs like this, it's like... Ma'am, the Lord told me to go into highways and hedges and compel them to come into his kingdom. This isn't but this compelling. isn't compelling anyone. This is turning really? them away. So Jesus said, Jesus said, repent or perish. So he what, also what, said, by your love, they... What they is, but love. what is your definition of love? If Do you have parents? Well, I'm you are not my no, parents. You are not their parents. No, I'm asking you an honest question. There. I want to make a par uh, an illustration. No, I know the one. I have Do been, you have parents? It's been made many times. I, hey, I got the illustration. So you're assuming you know what I'm saying. Your parents yeah, warned you that. probably not to do drugs. Yep. Did they hate you? Or is that because they really loved you? Yes, but you're not their parents. You're not my parents. Sir, a look, I didn't come out here to please you. I'm obeying God. I'm no. preaching his word to get you to live right. Okay? I just want to say. We so so what, I'm, no, no. what I'm listening to is your version of Jesus. But I want the real Jesus. And the real Jesus. My version, the my real Jesus, Jesus told me to come out here and warn you to give your life to him. To tell you, look out. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's a well-made sign. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm talking about what's on it. Oh. Well, it's I'm trying to tell you sin will leave you empty in your soul because I tried it. But that, okay, it's not, people don't feel loved by it. That's their so problem. Right yes. And you need Do you feel by. love when your mama or your daddy okay. whipped you or punished Good. you? Did you feel love? Did you say, Mom, you I really feel Have your love right now? Yeah. Thank you. I can leave that situation and think back. They loved me, that's why they did that. When people leave here, they don't think, man, those guys loved me. Jesus sure is a swell guy because his followers, the point is. Did you know Je that you, you know why they killed Jesus? I do know why they killed why him. Why did they kill him? Let's see, the Pharisees. Because he pointed out their sin. Well, they killed him because he. Claimed to be the son of God and that made them. No, die. no, listen to what Jesus said. He said, if I had not come, you would have had no sin. But now, hold on, hold on. See that? Y'all don't want to hear it. Y'all want y'all's version. But now he says you have no excuse for your sin. That's what he told them. Yeah. I mean, and the hypocrites, and boy, America's full of them. Okay. You know what he told the hypocrites? He said, you are of your father the devil. He said, he said, uh, he said a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation. You know why? They give my Savior a bad name. I believe you give your Savior a bad name. Critical. This is giving God well, that's a That's your name. opinion, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm blessed by God. It's the I'm blessed by God. I'm I do, blessed by God. As a Christian, I don't like. Sir, it's real people. clear you're not a true, true born again Christian. You say okay. we don't want to um, hear it, but you know, you not my heart. Yeah. sir, you got. It, it, I, I told you the greatest commandment is to love the Lord with all your heart and all your mind. Are you just going to ignore the second one? All your mind. Are you just going to ignore the fact that there is no sin in love? Sunday Listen to what Paul said. Do you know the, the writings of Paul? I'm familiar. Paul said to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. 
I don't like what you're doing. I don't hey, like this. Hey, that's okay. You don't have to like it. It's okay. I'm out to please this God. Seek, I'm out continue. To please God, not to you. Seek, don't. Do you don't say you love the Lord, you young lady? Continue to seek God. Why are you going out here with your, you with your boobs and your nipples on your titty show? Is that holy? Yes. Oh my. Your Bible says, listen, Romans 12, 1. Present your bodies holy unto God, Romans which is your reasonable. Who said Romans that my 12, body wasn't holy now, the way here, you did? Hold this a minute. Hold this a minute. My hold body wasn't minute. holy the way you did. I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, I. I really thought, you know what, it's from 13, one to obey the government. Yeah. 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 Well, you obey the government to a certain degree, Paul, when, and Peter was put in prison because they, they told him, uh, you ain't gonna, and when we're getting near that day right here in America. I hope so. Dude, I pray for it. I pray for it because there's... Really, you pray for the day that they'll put me in jail for preaching the word? Oh, no, I'm talking about the pray for the end of times. No, I'm talking about the day's coming real soon when they're oh. gonna put me in jail like they did Peter and Paul. Okay. Man, but see, you, you don't believe Jesus would do it that way anyway. So, you don't have nothing to worry about. Listen, I just want... I'm just being honest with you. What's your first name again? Kobe. Kobe, I'm just being honest with you, Kobe. You really I, are deceiving yourself. I, I appreciate the your... The Bible honesty. says the way that seems right on, unto a man is the way that leads to destruction. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I do believe you got a good heart, Kobe. I believe Wait. that 100%. But you ain't gave all your mind to God. That's the greatest commandment. Love Him with all your heart, not some. Okay, and all your mind, that is the greatest I love commandment. Jesus, more than I love any other person. You know why? Well, I, I can't say. God knows. He knows your life. Yeah, I'm does. not sure you're telling me the truth, though. Yeah, because you see the outside. Exactly, yeah. exactly. But but what did Paul say? Uh, Jesus said, he said, in, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Mm -hmm. And he also said, out of the heart comes adultery and, and all these wicked sins. For example, is that your wife or girlfriend? Just a friend, platonically. Do you willfully have sex with her? I do not. Well, that's good. Because we, I don't see how you could do it, not not have sex with her, and she's walking around here tempting you with those boobs showing everybody. Oh no, we make it very clear to each other that we don't want to have sex because. Man, you're a better man than I am, then, because when I was living like that, son. Oh, see, I'm not living like that. I'm not. But but get her to dress more golly, not to tempt you, then, man. I'm not tempted. I'm not tempted because... But other people are. She's tempting... She's not tempting me, but there's, there's a... Why do you think they go, They have titty bars in America? Oh, that's the body. She, she is she is tempting a lot of people by looking at her uh, nipples on her titties. Yeah, well, I... you. I mean, you, you didn't just fall off the turnip truck, did you? I, I, I sure didn't. <laughs> Y'all take care. Hey, I love you. The Lord loves you. He wants you to go all the way with Him. All right, let's go this way. Where are we going? Oh, it's a hold-up sign, hand, honey. I don't care. <laughs> we're gonna get squished by a big truck. How y'all doing? All right. What you promoting out here, Jehovah's Witness? Promote Jesus. Don't promote a man-made denomination. Promote your Savior. He died for you. Can we get... And I'm not from a denomination, okay? <laughs> Hey, my actually, son. Actually, most churches in America Back to the car? Nope, not yet. Somewhere else? Tell me, I don't think she was really waving at in the, in the checkered uh, skirt. 
from last night? Yeah. No. You didn't see her in the parade? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, she, she saw me. I, I waved was trying to video more of the parade but, but and get out from behind those people so I could get it and show just how sick some of the stuff is. Hello, young lady. I got some nice recording of those police officers just loving all over those uh those uh pride supporters. Huh? I said I got some good video of those police officers loving all over those pride supporters. Which one? Oh, the whole group of police officers taking pictures with them, the girl putting sticker on the other girl's face. And I was trying to talk to two police officers as they went by. And they were ignoring me till I pretty much yelled at one to try to, so that he like couldn't ignore that I was talking to him. He had to have heard me. Now around here, what's the? What's that? Page in the Bible First of all, Jesus said, he talked about, about divorce. He said in the beginning, God made male and female. He said, hold on, hold on, now you asked me a question, I'm here. He said, um, he said, um, he said, um, he said, um, he said uh, a man shall leave his father and mother. He didn't say a man shall leave his two moms and his two dads. And cleave to his wife. Okay? That's one. Now, Jesus said he comes to preach the Father's commandments. Okay? Jesus represents the Father. Okay? So the Father said homosexuality is an abomination unto God. He said it's for a man to lay with a man or a woman with a woman is an abomination unto God. Thou shalt not wear mixed families, right? Yeah, but, but the Mosaic law Jesus took, took care of. We don't have to face the Mosaic law today. Uh, what about when you said in Luke, uh, uh, where he said, if thou come forth and hate for thy mother, thy father, thy brother, thy sister, and ye thyself, thou cannot be a disciple unto me. It's a bar stuff now. That's what they're talking about. Well, that's what Well, you look up what that word means in English. Hate? We need to go to the okay. Hebrews. It's actually clear and common sense. What's your dog's name? Karma. Karma. Hey, Karma. Hey. <laughs> oh, what a cutie. It's tough. Oh, yeah. My heart drives than I thought. But anyway, so, so what, what the Lord what the Lord is very clearly saying here, man, is he says, I love me that loves father, father, brother, sister, brother, and Lord with me. He asked me a question to be a free text. So we don't appreciate it. She's asking me questions, sir. I'm not a did you ask me a question, man? So you're being rude right now. You insulting us. So why didn't you say excuse me? I didn't say the question. You could uh, understand that he's actually being a cop. Yeah, well, we can see the truth. No, I don't know. That wickedness is a heart coming out. No, no, no. Sir, the wickedness is a heart coming out. Sir, the wickedness is a heart coming out. You, look, you, you know a false Jesus, sir. You know, you know a fake Jesus. You got that Jesus made up in your mind. Yeah, the real one is holy. The real one said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. The real Jesus said, go out into all the world and preach his gospel. Is that in the commandments or in the Bible? Because you get the good 
See, now that wickedness is coming out of you. That, that, that evil. Your hatred of us. I don't hate you at all, sir. Of course you I love you. You wouldn't be standing here with this shit. Oh, you want God and hate sin. got real sin. evils coming out of you now. No, because the real evil ain't come out yet. Mom, get in that heart. You, you don't have to worry about saving me more. Save one for somebody else. Does that say anything about hell on it, honey? <laughs> Just quit her hey, our people. well, it'll remain empty, okay? Yeah, well... You let us live our life. You go live your life. I'm letting you live your life, business. but I'm just warning you. Do we come to your church and protest your church? No. Sure, Do come out and stand outside. Yeah, yeah, in my street. No. In my we pay the fucking taxes here too, dude. I do too. I do too. I love you. He wants you to live holy. God is holy. Jesus said to love no, no, that ain't all he said. He said, love him with all your heart and all your mind. Exactly. And loving him with all your heart and all your mind is, the, is, is, is Jesus said. Strength. In the beginning, God created male and female. And a man shall leave his father and mother. The government and created his religion wife. to keep you all in say his husband. Jesus said, so you need to get the head with religious. One, one of his father's commandments is an abomination for a man to lay with a man. That's where religion came from. Excuse me. I love you. Excuse me. I love you. Love you too. Oh, it goes back to taxpayers' property again. Yeah, this is not taxpayers' property. Except when it's said. Is this rented? We rented this space. I'm not going in there. We rented this space. We rented in there. Including this road. You can't rent a road. We rented this space. And we brought a play right there. Proud of your seat. Hey, well, we can go stand over there on the really? sidewalk. I didn't think it said that. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, well, the devil says I am. I think it also says, judge you not, lest you be judged. I'm telling you what the judge said. The judge right. said, Excuse if me, you suppose you can say you're not going to see them. There we go. If you're telling you what the judge said. Mind your own fucking business. You probably get your debt signed in front. Oh, my Lord. Hey, well, I'll let my wife take care of it. How about that? She's probably busy, too. Yeah. Oh, you, now you're insulting my wife. You really are evil, man. Wow. Hey, bring her over. I'll talk to her. I'm right here. She's with you. Right she's here. I'm right hey, well, here. She's a good woman. We've been married for 39 years. Good. Me and my husband have been married for 25. Yep. Yeah, and you can stand before God, you'll be sorry about it. Buddy, that's assuming I'm going to stand before God. That's your belief. Right, and you will. Well, that's good. I'll, I'll see you there. I like your car. I'll see you there. like your car. Beautiful car. <laughs> uh oh, Huh? How you doing? <laughs> okay, so we can't go in because I rented it. That. Oh, okay. Well, here's the deal. If you don't have to pay to come in here, they can't stop you from coming in here. Oh. How you doing, young man? Uh, I'm doing fine, thank you. You're doing all right. You support this? Blue well, he's got his hat on. Oh, oh, right. no, no, no. Look at his hat. Yeah. Are you support the safety work? No, I don't support your work because you're just being a bitch. No, I want you to obey the Lord so you won't go to hell, young man. Really good enough. Really, when you get there, you won't say that. You'll be sorry. Oh, here's our friends. You won't hail Satan when you get there, bro. How y'all doing? Saw you again? Huh? Do you have something better to do? It's a, hey, it's real good to warn you to obey the Lord, young lady. I already disobeyed him when I got tattoos and dyed my hair. But you can here's repent. Here. You can just repent. I can't repent. Dying your hair? Uh oh. God oh, so never you changes. God changed his mind about homosexuality. So, so you know, my you're gonna die and realize that heaven doesn't. Well, you know what? I'll be happy going there. Cause when I got the Holy Spirit in me, He gave me true peace and joy. Hey, smile for the picture, man. That's right. Smile for the picture. How y'all doing? Hey, how you doing? I saw her the other night. 
honey, don't well, floss it. I'm trying not to, but I'm trying to get my sweater on with one hand. I lost my hat. I told them to love. What is, I'm going to get me a sign. Let me find a They can't argue with, well they can't argue with anything. She got a shirt on that says the future is queer. Well, that's not very She's long. the one who held that blanket up the other night so long. Oh, okay. Thank you. She's got stamina. With a hurt leg. Free mom hugs. Free mom hugs. King and queen are here. So you come out here to support Satan's homosexual movement today? I support my friends. Yeah. Well, you know, Jesus said you're my friends if you keep my commandments. Don't you want to be a friend of Jesus? Oh, my back is hurting. T-Mobile's out here in force. What? I said T-Mobile is out here in force. Lisa wanted to get out of there. What? That's one of the reasons Lisa wasn't really so, so upset about losing her job there. Yeah, where's Lisa? Where's Lisa? Taking care of her broken up husband. Trying to get them to have a checkup. He hasn't even gone to the hospital or anything. You want to go to heaven when you die, you need to support God's cause and not Satan's cause. Am I? Now, I'm in their son. I can't God. stand it from their son. When you stand before God, just remember, he's holy. He's God. God's ways if you want to go to heaven when you die. I'm not sure exactly the God that you serve, but I'm pretty sure he knew we were formed in the womb. Right? Wait, let me finish. I'll let you boys finish. God, God said a homosexuality is an abomination unto him. Agree. But let right. me let an me speak. I'll speak you and then you go. You support abomination. Uh, I did. Yeah. yeah. Shame on you. You're going to stand before the Lord. Here, here's hell's my question. Be a, my daughter, you need but to hell's going to be a terrible place. Wait, wait, wait. You know, God loves your child, but he hates sin. But he sends a lot of people to hell. I'm going to print this out. You know, you know a different God than I do then. No, that ain't what the Bible says. Je Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. That's what love is. I'm telling you what the judge said. You have to ask the judge said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. The judge said, repent or perish. That's what the judge said. I didn't come out I come out here to share God's word with you, not to listen to a lesbian and tell me that she's okay. But pussy is good. Do y'all think it's more of a hate issue rather than a God issue? Because the God that you serve I also you. said, I love you. No, I you, I don't it is not you your to job to, to condemn me for my actions. I'm not action. condemning you. I'm telling no, you, if you repent, you'll you. go to heaven. Don't worry, Dad. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I believe in God. God is holy, young lady. Remember that. He's holy and righteous. God is not a. God is not perverted. I'll read a scripture to you, actually. I'm going to I'm I'm read you in the book of Romans. In the book of Romans it says, For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. That's what y'all doing out here today. Y'all holding the truth of homosexuality in unrighteousness. So Romans 1.22 says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. What? And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image Change 
the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. That's what y'all doing out here today. You're changing the truth of God into a lie. So in, the, in verse 26 says, God says for he this was cause, without the for who this, is not committed to sin to cast the first stone. And I got the sin out of my life. You never said you're perfect now. So if you're perfect, that means you don't need God. Therefore, oh, that no, I need God. So, I need so judgment. For this, verse 26, so verse 26 says, and For this cause, said, God gave them no, up to violent no, affection. No. <laughs> even, even their women changed their natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their, luck, in their heart towards one another. Men with men doing that which is unseemly, your Bible says. As they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God turned them over to a reprobate mind. So a lot of y'all God has turned over to a reprobate mind. Because y'all changed the holy God into an unholy God. Or you think you have. God, God's word says the effeminate will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. I don't think y'all really truly want to go to hell. So if you don't want to go to hell, you need to stop willfully sinning. That's right. All I know is that promote, dog is beautiful. He wants you to promote sin. God don't want you to promote sin. God wants you to live holy and promote holiness, and not perversion. That's right. Satan promotes perversion. That's right. God says a woman to lay with a woman is an abomination unto God. That's right. So you need to obey the Lord. If you want, if you want your prayers to get answered, you need to obey God. Sin will leave you empty in your soul. God is a holy God. And he demands that you live holy if you want to go to heaven. But if you don't want to go to heaven, you can live any way you want to live. But you don't you won't be happy in hell because the Bible, Jesus said in hell there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, where the fire is never quenched. So I don't really truly think anybody wants to go to hell. Mario and that's a lie from Satan, global war. Satan's going to use that when God pours his wrath out on this country. They're going to blame it on global warming. If he existed, why is there global warming? Huh? If he existed, why is there global warming? If he existed, why is there global warming? There are plenty the of scientists that disagree with that. It's called God's wrath. That's yeah. really not global Hey, you know what? He said he's going to destroy this world by fire one day. That's a good point. Well, when you stand before God, I hope you're right with Him and living holy. He doesn't exist. You're going to find out He does. 